One of the things that I've done over the last 30 years is actually work on myself. I picture read, uh, so I don't spell a word, I know what it looks like. Yes, um, not the letters in there, but you can have the word 20 ways on a piece of paper. I could tell you which one's right, but I couldn't tell you why it's right. I've had to learn how to to distinguish between the different theirs, the different weathers, the choose and chose and those sorts of words. Um, so I have developed little pictures in my mind. So for the weathers, for instance, um, for the climate word, I see a sunshine. I use my cell phone a lot and I take a lot of pictures. I can print it out and use Sketch. You can download onto your cell phone that where you've got a picture, you can add in arrows or words or whatever you want to do. I write them on the whiteboard and it just helps me to remember so I don't forget all my, um, all my jobs that I need to get through on, for the day or even right. um, a week ahead. Look, Lisa's off farm today. Please make sure that everything's fine and you um, take yourself carefully around the paddocks. Text me any problems, phone on all the time, thanks. So, so why write it if you can say it and someone can access the pen? First two weeks of my work, you said I don't want you to do anything. All I want you to do is here goes your all the words you ever need to pull out the time sheet. And he said, so you know what that word is? And what that word is? Yep. Couldn't spell it, but he had it all written down there. And he said, so when you fill out your time sheet, these are the words you need to do to fill out your time sheet. If I'm out um, filling out forms or having trouble to get to, to read something or write something. I just ask the person there to um, to give me a hand. I let them know that I am dys dyslexic. I have a bit of trouble, with and nine out of ten times, I'm more more than likely to help me to help me out when I'm doing my my written work for my course. I ask my uh, my wife; she helps me out, and that way, when I get to class, I'm not falling behind. One of the things that I'm looking at doing um, is starting up a group for women, for um, women in business really, for the dyslexic women in business, so that we can support each other and what we do and how we cope with some of the issues that we have.